Over the history of For Honor, many moves or interesting mechanics have been toned down or outright deleted for the sake of balance. That isn't to say that these have no place in the game, it instead means that the devs couldn't find a way to make them work and chose the easy way out, that is to say they removed them. So when you read the title, when I say bring them back, sometimes that could be the case, but generally I'd like to see a reworked version of those moves being brought to the game. And so, let us begin with Orochi's heavy deflect, Aramusha's heavy blockade, and Shaolin's unblockable after a kick. The thing all these moves have in common is that instead of getting a guaranteed punish, they might opt to go for a high damage mix-up instead. The reason why these were removed is that they simply weren't super effective, and people didn't choose to use them all that much. But that's a really weird excuse to remove something. Even if it's not as effective as getting a guaranteed punish, people still use this to style on enemies. You're essentially removing cool stuff from the game for no other reason other than it not being meta. And what's even weirder is that if you consider that these moves are just not worth it, why don't you just buff them? Why remove them? Instead of making them viable, why outright delete them? Now granted, in Adamsha's case, they more so change the move instead of deleting it, but that doesn't mean they can't just bring it back and change it to its own input instead. I really don't understand this decision. If the reasoning was, it's not meta, therefore it's not fun or shouldn't be in the game, then that's frankly hilarious. At second, we got Shugoki's soft faint into Demon's Embrace. Back then, you could soft faint heavy into Demon's Embrace instead of having to hard faint it, which made that mix up a lot faster. Back when Shigoki got reworked, the hyper armor and the ability to soft paint got removed, but what people don't remember is that back then Shigoki dealt crazy damage. We're talking 38 damage on blockables, and Demon's Embrace give you a health lead of 45 HP. So back then, if you didn't just roll away, it was a 38 slash 45 health mixup. Nowadays, his unblockables don't deal as much damage, and the hug gives you a health lead of 30. 30, down from 45. And Demon's Embrace doesn't even have Hyper Armor anymore, so it's vulnerable to dodge attacks. I think it's perfectly reasonable to add this move back, and would also make Shigoki a lot more fun to play. Next up is Shovan Block. Yes, I've made a video about it before, but I gotta mention it here as well. To trim it down, I want to see a reworked version of Shovan Block, kind of like what Blackbriar has right now. If you didn't know, BP and Kyushin can do an unblockable even after blocking. Having this ability is not that strong, it's just a fun little gimmick, and Lawbringer can use something like that too. You know, so he can play into his counterattacker persona without having to give him exorbitant parry punches. At number 4, we got Warden's Back Dodge Bash. Now, let me tell you something Orochi has a Back Dodge Light Attack, right? What makes it balanced is that you can't charge it and you absolutely have to commit to it. So, what if we give Warden his back dodge shoulder bash again, but you can't charge it or faint it? Just an idea, but there you go. At number 5, we need to bring back Demon Ball because it's honestly much cooler, much funnier, and fits Shugoki a lot more than just giving him a shinobi run. Let's be real, you should not be able to stop Shugoki if he's charging at you. As a Shugoki, you should be able to charge into a point and nobody should be able to body block you. My guess as to why this got removed is that back then ledges were a lot more prominent and maybe Shigoki could like push people away which made people fall off ledges a lot more? I don't fucking know. These decisions man, I have no idea what makes Ubisoft come up with them. Anyway, next in line is Shinobi's ranged guard break. This was broken for many reasons but it's not without salvation. In my other video about adding Kratos to For Honor I come up with something similar. And it was basically to make it purely a get over here ability, a displacing tool, if you will. It doesn't necessarily have to deal damage or stun off the enemy. It's just used to move enemies closer to you and giving you frame advantage. And before I mention the last one, tell me in the comments if there's anything I didn't mention before or that you'd like to see. Cool stuff gets removed from this game all the time and I might make a second video about it. Just let me know. Anyway, the last one is Conqueror's Helicopter Zone. A relic from a time where option selects were a thing and were gladly removed. You don't even have to give him the full block back, just let him continue the zone. Let him helicopter all over the place. Please, it would be so cool. Repeat after me. We need funny moves in Frana. We need funny moves in Frana. We need funny moves in Frana. Hope you liked the video. Goodbye.